Good morning and welcome to what we eat in, in the day, Hawaii version. That's right. I'm going to get Sage to help me with this so that way you can kind of compare um, what we both eat in a day. He's obviously a guy. He has a high metabolism, running a lot more miles than I am right now. Um, but I think it'd be kind of interesting to see that because of our different food choices, I can eat a pretty high vol volume of food even compared to him. Uh, so maybe you know, that'll be interesting just to compare both of us and or just give you your own ideas on what you can eat if you're going plant-based. So, all right, let's get to breakfast. Here's what my breakfast will consist of. Picked up this Christmas blend at the airport yesterday. Old fashioned oats, keeping it simple. All right, Sage, what are you having? I got these Dave's Killer Bread English muffins. They have whole grains in them, it says. I'll help it. I also put peanut butter and my Concord grape jelly on them as well as my starbucks via instant coffee of course i'll probably have two serve i'll probably double this up though so i'm gonna have another set of this that's good you gotta be real all right here's my finished product probably could have made the oatmeal look a little prettier but as long as it tastes good i don't care going for round two Mm-hmm. Round two for Coach Sage. I got all my camera gear charging on here, but yeah, this is the second. Same same as first. Same as the first and consistent. They're small. They're small English muffins, so delightful. Mm -hmm. A-Nutter Everyday Adventure Treat Bar. Nice uh, peanut butter. It's like eating a peanut butter jelly sandwich, except in a bar. It's great. All right, time for my little snack. I have the cool bar. Uh, do hashtag sponsor plugs like Sage. And this is the Eat Treat Bar. Really good, compostable packaging, so try it out. Pretty healthy. Hey, little guy. Hi, Mr. Frog. I'm gonna name you Kermit. Yeah, yeah, Kermit. Your name's Kermit now. You take it easy, you keep okay, it real. Uh, yeah, you have a good day. Good. Really refreshing. Got the granola, the fruit, peanut butter. How is it? It's really good. It's like having dessert for lunch. I like it. A treat? Yep. Little something sweet in my coffee for the road. Nice chocolate chip cookie, local chocolate. Vegan cookie. Yeah, vegan. Good. Okay, we just got done eating at the Eat Healthy Cafe, and uh, I think they told us it's been around for two years, but it's really good food, uh, really healthy. I think that a lot of like local farms help provide the food. A lot of it's organic. It's a little pricey, but you kind of expect that in a tourist area anyway. Uh, yeah, if you so if you're in the area, I definitely highly recommend going to this place. Sage had most of the avocado toast. He had three pieces. I only had one. He's got he's got another run to do today after hiking for almost three hours with me. So he needed to fuel a little bit more. But then the the smoothie bowls were actually a pretty good serving size. You always wonder like if you're gonna still be hungry after a smoothie bowl if that's all you're having for lunch. But it was a good serving size though. Happy with it. Probably still have to have a snack before dinner. But for right now, I am satisfied.
couple hours later and I'm just gonna grab a quick snack. Probably just only have a few sunflower seeds and then finish off most of this golden berry blend. Um, I actually don't have dried fruit very often when I'm at home, but when I'm traveling and just want a quick snack, definitely always bring dried fruit with me. going to dinner pretty soon. Uh, actually, I should be uh, finding a restaurant to go to right now as Sage is in the shower, but you know, he wasn't looking for places to go when I was in the shower, so I'm going to do this instead. And really, I just wanted to, just to remind everybody this is not actually how I normally eat. I am, um, well, for, I always have oatmeal for breakfast. I love oatmeal for breakfast. Uh, and I already did uh, another what I eat in the day video when I'm at home, and so that's a little bit more realistic. To what I eat like I, I do actually have smoothie bowls for lunch but I also normally have like at least a salad with with whole grains or, or sweet potato and beans and stuff too and then like a much smaller smoothie bowl or normally it's like a smoothie cup with with some type of almond butter or peanut butter in it or something like that um, and I find that when I'm, I'm traveling sometimes the amount of food is in volumes is sometimes a little bit less just because I'm not home to snack or again I'm used to having like a fairly big lunch um, and also right now as I said before like I'm just not running very much right now um, hopefully it's slowly increasing my mileage but that affects how I eat a little bit too although I still eat a pretty a pretty good amount um, you know and since a lot of people are talking about like body image and runners right now and I will say like yeah, I'm probably a little bit, I well, not maybe, I am a little bit heavier right now than when I am in top running shape, and I actually don't step on a scale, so I have no idea how much, but you know, I can look at my arms and be like, oh, there's not like veins popping out of my arms right now, and you know, that, that's okay, it's not, I would say it's probably not like the healthiest thing for me personally, not to like have veins like popping out of like my arms all the time, and you know, when I'm running and it is like that, I am perfectly healthy. Uh, I make sure I eat plenty of food. I always tell myself and my athletes like you know you have to eat a bunch of like nutrient dense foods to, f to fuel optimal performance and and yeah some people can get by on eating a lot more fast food um, but you know I maybe that's not optimal especially for long-term performance and then you know if you're not eating enough um, well, I should say that I also like tell myself and my athletes, like you always have to eat nutrient dense foods until you're fully satisfied. If you're going to bed hungry at night, that's not okay ever. And it's definitely not sustainable. Um, you might be able to do it and for a little bit, but for most people, it's not going to last. Or if you are able to go to bed hungry for nights at a time, like your performance is eventually going to drop. You're probably going to break some bones. And that's just not the way to be healthy. And so like right now, um, there are days where it's like kind of miss being a little bit later at my running weight, but then I tell myself, you know, it's gonna be just fine uh, in the long run and I'll probably be healthier for it and run better when I do get back into more running. And then, you know, the great thing about being plant-based is when, before I went plant-based and I, um, and this is right, right before my, well, I guess during my Achilles surgery and recovery process when I was running at all, I was really struggling with my weight. I had gained a bunch of weight and I was actually really trying to control my diet, like my portion size, and really trying to like be stick to a strict diet. And because I wasn't plant-based yet, I was still just gaining a ton of weight and that was, uh, that really bothered me. And then I guess moreover, it didn't feel healthy. I didn't feel good in my body where right now it's, that's, yeah, I'm a little bit he like heavier than, than I am when I'm running a ton, but I, again, I feel really healthy right now, and I am still comfortable in my own skin, and you know, I know like my weight right now, it's, I'm not gonna get heavier, 
heavier than I am now and, and I feel I feel good. Um, and I know that just nourishing my body is only gonna help me me heal faster and you know it also helps me help others more because I can focus at work. I can get just a lot more stuff done. I'm just in a better mood and so all that stuff matters. So just wanted to touch on that. Um, if you follow Sage Running uh, or even me on social media, uh, I think my sister did something pretty cool about body image for runners and so I'll definitely be sharing that. So yeah. Uh, yeah, that's my my little rant, and yeah, time for dinner. There we go. We have the vegan enchiladas, the tofu, spinach, beans and rice, guacamole. It's good. Rolling. Okay, right, I believe we're at Frederico's. Frederico's, yeah. Molly, yeah, and I got the blackened tofu tacos. There's supposed to be mushrooms in here too. Vegan tacos. It's good. Yeah, a little tired tonight. Uh, definitely feeling the time zone change. I think Colorado is like three hours ahead. Yeah, that's it. Um, so just Sage so you and know, I came back here. We're gonna have. Well, we're gonna try some Maui see, Brewing. You. Maui yeah. Brewing pineapple mana. It's a wheat uh, wheat style with pineapple fruity taste in it. Little Maui Brewing. Yeah. So try that. I'm just gonna share half and. Dessert today, dried mango from Trader Joe's. So definitely have probably a good chunk of that between the two of us. And I think that's that's it for for this little what I eat in the day flash vlog. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, if you if you like this video and want to see more stuff, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and yeah, until next time, keep running wild.